When Leah Justman and Jenna Ritchie met at the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh, they had at least one thing in common. So I've been dancing since I was three. I have been dancing since I was in third grade. Both now compete for the UWO dance team, along with young women from across Wisconsin. We have a couple of girls from like the De Pere Green Bay area, from like Stevens Point, Wausau, so like the middle of the state. We have a lot of girls from the Milwaukee area. One, two, three, four, punch time! Jenna and Leah are part of a dance team that is 100% student led. We are student athletes, so student comes first, athlete comes next. It's a sport sidelined by the pandemic. And their dream of dancing at nationals had been dashed. Gosh, it was a very emotional time. COVID had sent us home right before nationals. It was so incredibly heartbreaking for our team. Ready? And it was really sad to see those seniors and those juniors that weren't coming back they weren't gonna get that chance. The team would regroup in 2021 with one big difference. We had just almost a completely brand new team who had ever competed for UW Oshkosh. And we put our best foot forward in everything we did so that we could come back stronger and better. UWO! Everybody pushes each other to do better and to be better. We have a zero drama policy. And that is so true. By the end of the season, there would be plenty of drama. You gotta be ready to come to every single practice, ready to win and ready to do your best every single time. And if you don't, then you're kind of letting your teammates down. They use the pandemic as motivation. Come on, ladies, step it up! Six, seven, they wanted redemption. and a shot at nationals. I shot Sabrina, hit! Let's go! They spent months. Yes, months and months and months. <laughs> preparing for that national competition, COVID had denied them. Four, five, and six, seven, and eight. So it was doing parts over and over and over until it was genuinely perfect and every girl looked exactly the same. The countdown was on. For the first time in two years, this team would represent UW Oshkosh at the National Dance Alliance College Championship in Daytona Beach. Before we went on the floor, we definitely talked about like dancing for those people who didn't get that last performance. When you hit that first pose, and you're about ready, the music's about to start, you gotta take that nice deep breath. As soon as the music starts, you just go for it. They put a lot of work into their performances and you can definitely see that when they put it, all of that out on the floor for them. Those last 15 seconds, I could feel the tears start to swell in my eye because I was so grateful for the opportunity to be able to do this for so long and love it so much. Now, it will be up to the panel of judges. I just remember saying, like, whatever happens, like, we did it. Like, we put the best performance out there. The best performance that could be done was out on that floor. National champion with a final score of 89.20, the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh. Going into this year, we were never expecting to win. UWO did win, bringing back to Wisconsin its first ever national championship for Palms, and a third place finish with their jazz routine. I think after working for 18 years towards this big goal, it was just so fulfilling. 
it makes it feel like all the years and the hard times and the good times and everything in between was worth it. We represent UW Oshkosh, the Titans. Just an amazing experience. Five, six, seven, eight. Titans!